Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing Zorro, pre-10 Zorro. So he's got like the bandana and like one sword in his mouth, right? So I'm on a landscape orientation page as usual. Hit pause if I go too fast, you know, slow down the video if, I, if I'm moving too fast when I move my hand, okay? Right, we'll start with his closed eye, okay? So center point of my page is about here. Just come up a little bit over to the right. And we'll start with his closed eyelid. So like we got like a curved line, so it goes up, down, back up, right? Like that. And then this so is just a little bit thicker, double line, right? right so that's his closed eye. He has an eyelid line just above that. So like Does he? Yeah, he does. So it's just here. Like so. And then we got his scar, right, that comes down. Just there. Right, his bandana comes across here. That's why I'm not bringing that all the way up to the top. So he's got like some lines for his nose here. So like some sort of frown lines and like an eyebrow line, right? And then his, his other eye is open and it goes right across that, but the top of that bandana. So maybe we'll draw the bandana in. Let me see. No, we'll draw the eye, sorry. <laughs> Just try to figure it out. Right, so this comes up and then goes across. Right, and this is like the top of the bandana as well. So it's like the eye touches the bandana line, right? And then this will come back down this way for the bottom eyelid and then back down to here. Like so. So his iris just underneath in the middle, just there. And his pupil. Like so. All right, so then like I said, the bandana comes right across the top here. So we might as well draw it in. So it like touches, it is the, like the top eyelid line as well, comes down this way. Comes down towards the middle. And then it'll go back up this way. Around to here, around the outside. <clears throat> it kind of curves around here. Okay. So there's nose, so we got like a line just coming down here. It kind of hooks around the bottom. Kind of maybe curves up that way a little bit. He has just a line underneath his eye there. And then just nostrils just down here. So he has a sword in his mouth, okay. So he has a big sort of smiling line for his teeth. So I guess we'll do that first. So just like here, we got like these, the edges of his mouth, right? And these are gonna, we're gonna bring these together with a big curving line. So it goes this way. Like so, okay? And then the line for his teeth in under there. So we do that again, right? So we got like the edge just here. And the teeth are sitting on the sword. So we're just gonna go right down. Do that same line again. And just the edge of his mouth there. Okay, now a ruler might be handy for for the sword. So it's just the handle of the sword comes out from the teeth just here, right? So we'll go out like that, right? And the bottom. Just 
see how far we gotta go. Right, roughly something like that, right? And then he's got a piece of gold or brass just at the end here, right? And something like that over here as well, except this one has like a little piece of curve to it, like so. And then the end around, like so. Maybe like some lines or stuff like that. Right, so on the edge of the sword, we've got like details like this. Right, and then we got those diamonds. And this is like all that rope that samurai swords, that thread that's wrapped around them. Right, like that. And then the handle of the sword just up here. So we just got like a longer sort of rectangular shape. Like so it might have like some hatching on there. Then we got another brass sort of section here, or gold section. And then the sword is going to go all the way off the page, right? And it's got a curve to it, so use, using a ruler won't really help, right? So you gotta like sort of sketch this out as best you can, okay? There's no real sort of way to do it. You just gotta, you could do it straight if you wanted, but we'll just, So right, it's going to come out here and it's going to have a slight bend to it. So we're going like that way. So I'll just sketch it in sort of lightly and then sort of, so, and then sort of make it sort of a thicker line then. Right, so it's kind of curving a little bit that way, right? So then I'll just try and thicken it up. Okay. And then we'll go off the page the other way as well. So we'll go so roughly like to here. We just want to keep it that same sort of thickness up the top. So we're just sort of trying to keep it level and even going down, right, like so. And then we can try and sort of thicken it up. Yeah, you can use a ruler to try and keep things a bit smooth and sort of follow the curve if you wanted. But you'll see, you see it's not like a perfect straight line. It's got a bit of a bend. Probably easier to just do a straight line, but it's curved in the picture, so. And most swords and samurai swords and stuff should have a bit of a curve in them.
it and then he's got sort of a black line that goes up the middle as well and this one can be kind of a rough so I'm, I'll do this one faster because it doesn't it can be sort of bumpy and stuff you don't have to take your time as much with that one okay so That's roughly the sword. Okay, so then, so his chin comes out from underneath the handle here. Right, comes out here, and then we bring it around. Real square chin. And then we can see his bottom lip and his teeth. So bottom lip line just curves around like so. And then his tooth and teeth just here. Okay, All right, so then side of his head, so he's got like sideburns, those green sideburns of his. And this one just comes down just on the inside of the sword, sort of handle it there. And then we got eye in here, on that side. Like so. And then his ears, so you just see like a curve line going down there, curve line on the inside. And something similar on this side, but he's got earrings on this ear, right? So we'll draw some of those first. So they're like dangling down. And they're kind of flying off this way. Just there on that side of his ear, and then you can draw in the ear coming down into his head, sort of somewhere, somewhere there. Not a lot of detail in the ears in one piece, but that's about it. Okay, so top of his head, right? So we're Top of his head is like up right near the very tip top of my page, right? So up there. So we're like the whole width of his face up that again, right? So you have like chin to the top of the bandana. You want to go up that bit and just a little bit more, right? So you want to go make sure you go at least up this far. And then if you add a little bit more again, just so we make his, just so we don't want the, like the head to be too small. Right, sort of like this. I'm gonna try to curve it around. Try and keeping it even, as even as we can anyway. Doing characters like this that don't have hair can actually be tricky. I know hair is tricky as well, but this can be even harder because it's like a smooth sort of curve, you know? So it kind of looks like a helmet. So we just got to give it like some fabric lines coming across here. Like that. Okay, so let's do his neck. Curves out around. Curves. So that's so that's neck muscle. Sorry, <laughs> that's not his yet. That's neck muscle. So two neck muscle lines, and then the other side of his neck. I was wondering why that looked too skinny. So it comes out here, right? So there's trapezius, and you're going out at least a head width, you know, for the shoulder. So his collarbone comes down that way. So if you study anatomy, you'll know that your collarbone joins these AC joints in the shoulder, right? So this is where the collarbone joins. So it goes up into there. Right? So your collarbone always goes out to this sort of bump in shoulders, right? And then your neck muscles will go in towards the clavicle in the middle. 
and he's got a shadow underneath his chin as well so we'll just shade that in Some hatching just coming down there like so and there might be like some hatching just here there right okay so then his shoulder chest muscle etc so so like just down from here right we got like the starts of his chest right so down from here right so that's like the sides of his chest muscle and then his shoulders stick out a little bit more so they come out like this down like that right so very sort of one piece sort of style anatomy so you again you're at least head width for the shoulder so the width of his head comes out and that's normally roughly where the edge of the shoulder would be right so then we got like bicep and stuff and tricep right so we got like tricep muscle just coming down here, bicep comes down the inside from the armpit, just here, right? And the side of his body will be like here somewhere. So same thing, sort of side of his body, bicep. So side of the body, maybe there. Right, and then tricep, out like so. And then you'll have sort of bicep muscle, sort of some shoulder muscle lines and things just going that way. Like so. So like, you know, chest muscle coming across here, bicep line. Kind of unusual anatomy in this. The arms are strange. <laughs> but, um, I guess it's one piece, so it works. So, middle of the chest comes down here. And then chest muscles will go down. And they're kind of curving up and around, right? Up, up like so. Down, up and around, like that. And then nipples just here two curve lines so you can have like chest muscles going that way and then maybe like some extra lines underneath here like so and maybe like some obliques and things and what we can see of his abs you can't really see much just like a line here like some lines coming across there and then he has a big scar that comes across his chest, right? Comes all the way down across his chest here and then goes across his stomach. And it's got like stitches on it. Like so. And that is everything. That's how to draw Zorro from one piece with his bandana. Hope yourself, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.